So this here is a Canadian candle. And the way this is, the way this works is I've got a log here that's rotted out on the inside, so it's hollow. I've got it propped up on a couple of stones in the bottom of the fire pit. And I have a couple of stones on top of the log to set the pot here. So it kind of works like a chimney. You can see all this the smoke and heat and steam coming out of the center. So I can it allows me to set the pot over the fire without burning my hands on the you know, down low there. Keeps the pot a little bit cleaner. And uh, this will burn for hopefully a while yet. It's a fresh log, so it should go for a good hour or so. But this way you can, if you have a, just one cup for your hot cocoa or your coffee or a small pot, you can put it right over the fire without needing a tripod or without having to have some kind of a, a stone right in the, in the cold where you burn your hands. So, it's a good alternative. And how did you start this fire? Oh, um, well it's a sunny day. And uh, I happen to have a really well polished off soda can. And so what I did was I took um, some char cloth I made last night and I made a little bird's nest with some dry grass and I put the char cloth into that little bird nest, that bundle of tinder. And then I was able to use the bottom of the soda can right here, which has been polished. Um, I was able to use this to reflect the sunlight onto that piece of char cloth to a point where uh, it, it heated, it got hot and um, caught fire. So, and then I was able to, with that little bundle of tinder, wave it around and blow on it until it caught flame. So, that's where we started and this is where we're at. Good enough? Yeah.